As the Passover approaches, we need to know who Jesus of Nazareth is. Is he truly the King of the Jews? Is he the Lion of Judah, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world? How and why is he scarred? Let's see what the scriptures have to say about who he is. He is the light, my Lord, my Master, my example. He is the way, the truth, the life, the vine, scourged, crowned with a crown of thorns, crucified as King of the Jews. He is exalted, glorified, the Holy One and the just, the Prince of life, the anointed, the Prince and a Savior, Lord of all, the Judge, Jesus of Nazareth, the mercy seat, Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn among many brethren, over all, God blessed forever, Lord over all, the deliverer, Lord both of the dead and the living, my wisdom, my righteousness, my sanctification, my redemption. He is the foundation, my Passover, that spiritual rock, the head of every man, the first fruits of them that slept. He is the last Adam, the quickening spirit, the image of God, his unspeakable gift, my peace. He is the one that supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and saves. He heals the sick. He cleanses the lepers. He forgives the sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the aged. He rewards the diligent and beautifies the meek. He is my king. Do you know him? Well, my king is the king of knowledge. He is the wellspring of wisdom. He is the doorway of deliverance. He is the pathway of peace. He is the roadway of righteousness. He is the highway of holiness. He is the gateway of glory. He is the master of the mighty. He is the overseer of the overcomers. He is the governor of governors. He is the prince of peace. He is the king of kings, and he is the Lord of lords. That's my king. Who is yours? His promise is sure. His light is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. I wish I can describe him to you. He is indescribable, yes, incomprehensible. He is invincible. He is irresistible. I'm coming to tell you, the heaven of heavens cannot contain him, let alone man explaining him. You can't get him out of your mind. You can't get him off your hands. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. The Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him. And the grave couldn't hold him. He had no predecessor, and he'll have no successor. There was nobody before him, and there'll be nobody after him. You can't impeach him, and he's not going to resign. That's my king. Make him yours. 
For the assurance of salvation, repeat Romans 10, verse 9 with me now. I declare with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And according to Romans 10, verse 10, I am saved. Remember, every Wednesday a new video comes out on this channel declaring the love of God through his son Jesus Christ to you personally and to the rest of the world. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this with everyone. God bless you.